Are we, are we live? Is this happening? That seems looser than normal. Hey, uh, how is, how is this? I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of like real life streams. Not very good at all of this yet, but, uh, I decided that because it is late and I'm not really, uh, ever going to get time to build my desk that I would just kind of, uh, do it or start doing it on like a casual little stream. So this is going to be pretty choppy. Anyone watching the VOD afterward, if that's something anyone would do, because, uh, full disclosure or warning, this isn't going to be the most interesting stream. That much I can tell you. I think the uh, the most interesting element to it is that um, the desk itself. Uh, I got a uplift desk, but just the base um, because I have my own desktop. Can I show that? Currently, with everything as it is in my office, it is a bit of a mess up here. So, makes it a little tricky to just flip the camera on and do whatever. Let's see here. Yeah. So, I can angle this down. You can hear my wife running through the halls. So this desktop here, um, this is my, move this out of the way. This, I, I made this desktop. I bought the, uh, the piece of wood, stained it, cleaned it up and everything. Um, a bit of a mess going on back here, but just forgive that. Pretend like that's not there. Uh, but I, I didn't want to get rid of the top because it's, it's, it's new. I just, just made it like not that long ago whatsoever. And I'd kind of created this like hodgepodge desk this just sits on top of a like an older walmart desk that we had had um and i extended it out over top of a two drawer filing cabinet uh but the problem was that where i used to work it's not really much of a problem but uh part of the reason i wanted to do what i'm doing is that Where I used to work, I had a standing desk. It wasn't like an amazing standing desk or anything like that, but it was a um, like a tabletop style that you could click a little lever and lift the whole desk up. It allowed you to stand or sit whenever you wanted to. It was pretty nice. It, it was nice to have that flexibility. Um, and I had gone on probably five years at least of actually just standing like all day long. Um, being a programmer sitting in front of uh, a computer all day long, you know, one of the things that uh, I always sort of would worry about would be like blood clots, like just sitting there all day, not doing anything for my health. You know, stuff could start kind of creeping up on you, trying to kill you. So I uh, I decided I wanted to change that. So that, that was sort of the reason I shifted to a standing desk to begin with. But now I'm going to actually start taking stuff out of the boxes uh, for the uplift desk and kind of go through some of that um, and talk a little bit about the options and everything. I won't really be able to do the entire build on stream. Uh, if I do any of the build, I may even have to like step away to go get some tools because I don't know what I'm going to get into. Um, and it's since it is late, it probably won't be going on for, you know, too incredibly long but i did kind of want to showcase some of the parts because i thought uplift desk was impressive to say the least the options that they had were borderline ridiculous a lot of the stuff that they've got i don't think there's much need to have but uh it, it's neat that they that they have it i didn't get a lot of the things that you could get i only got the things that 
I could see myself using or or wanting. And there were a few other things that I sort of was on the fence about getting, but I don't think I had the desk. And I didn't think I'd have the desk space, um, like the desktop space for them. But uh, I can even talk about that after we get to that point. Um, so yeah, without any any more delays, maybe I'll just shift over here and start getting into some of the things. I guess the easiest thing to do would be kind of go through some of the stuff that we've got that I'm not going to be opening up probably on stream. But yeah, so this this little thing, this is a, a foot hammock. Uh, now, not to be confused with the full-sized hammock, which they also have. Now, we're talking about a desk, okay? Just a desk that can convert from a sitting desk about the same height that this is. I think they can go lower, actually, but uh, up high enough so that it's a standing desk. The company makes a full-size hammock that hangs underneath the desk, and you can just, like, crawl in under there and take a nap, I guess? I mean... In a perfect world, right, like in a really fun office environment, I could actually see that kind of stuff flying. But the experience I've had over the years is that that's not really the way offices work, unfortunately. So very interesting, though. I thought that was a, a very fun accessory that you could get. Um, and it, it all works off of like some standard mounting system that they have on the underside of their of their desks so uh the thing is motorized as well which is really nice uh it takes a uh they have like a number of different controllers that you could get um i opted to get like a middle of the road one they have this this controller here which is their comfort controller uh, it's got a nice, nice texture to it. Like it, it's like a, uh, a little bit of a rubbery feel to the buttons and it feels like a nice quality. It, it is just made out of plastic, like up here in the mounting and everything. But at the end of the day, like you really shouldn't be like racking on this thing. So it shouldn't be taking too much of a beating or anything. Uh, I imagine it should hold up pretty well. And then it's just like, um, standard like ethernet port or can't remember the name of them right now rj45 or something like that port regardless or plug uh regardless this is going to go in um to the desk itself and this is how it basically controls the motor uh, the thing i really liked about this particular control is that it does allow you to define preset heights um that you're able to set up so you could have like one for your sitting height, two for your standing height, and then if you had another person using the desk or something. I don't know. I think that having four seemed a little off, but I'm glad that I have four so that if I wanted more than just my normal two, I, I have the option. Uh, but you can also freely adjust it up and down as well. So that's kind of nice. Um but you can pick those out yourself. Now a lot of their a lot of their desks already come with like a desktop and everything like that. And I don't know if you were to buy it like that if it would come pre-assembled or if you still have to do all of the assembly yourself. But the route that I went, which is basically like a bring your own top sort of deal, uh, I have to do all of the assembly. So the boxes down below here, which there are. quite a few it's a, a handful down there um those are all full of accessories and different parts and whatnot to actually build this thing other thing i probably won't get to tonight on stream at least Uh, motion x board and of course the completely separate 
comfort mat that goes on top of that board. But uh, what I really liked about this, they had like a Rocker X and another one, I can't remember the name of it, but this Motion X board it was really, really nice. It has a, like a, a bowl on the bottom of it so that you don't really have any like single point of stability. Um, like you can't just stand there and it be stable. Like you, there's always like a little bit of movement going with it. Uh, now it, it's not so much, it's not like a top, like it doesn't have like a, a pinpoint that you're on. So you're not going to be like struggling to keep your balance. It's pretty flat on the bottom, but there's just enough of like a grade to it that will allow for movement in general. Um, the whole idea of that is like, obviously if you just stand still the entire day, you're also not really doing a whole lot of good for yourself, uh, than you would be if you were just sitting. So having a little bit of movement and some balance kind of work some of the core muscles and things like that. So, it, you know, overall it's supposed to be a healthier choice. I don't honestly know if it's going to help, if it's going to make much of a difference, but I like to think it will. Mm. Adjustable footrest. Yeah, so apparently that's just literally a footrest. But it can elevate. It has a angle to it and everything so that if you are sitting, um, putting your feet down to that uh, feels better. And honestly, I wasn't going to get that. I wasn't going to get that or the foot hammock. But what I started noticing after I looked at the product line um, b before I bought the desk, I started to pay attention to how I was sitting every day, all day long. Um, and I noticed that I was looking for places to put my feet. So I have a large like subwoofer speaker below my keyboard off to the side. I find myself a lot of times putting my feet up on that. Uh, and then beside that, there is like an under shelf that's like two inches off the ground. And if I don't have my feet up on the sub, I've got my feet down on that shelf. So it always seemed like I wanted my feet elevated some so the footrest suddenly made a lot of sense to me because uh, when I get this desk set up, I will have no undershelf. There won't be anything under there. It's just going to be basically two legs, you know, one on each side that go down um, to the floor. So I've got nothing to put my feet on, you know, so the hammock will allow for my feet to be way up in the air, uh, similar to what I'm doing right now with the sub. And the footrest will give me just the minor amount of elevation to hopefully keep me comfortable. Or maybe I won't use either of them and they were a complete waste of money and time. I don't know. But all I know is uh, I got them because it seemed like it would be a good idea. <laughs> so we'll see. Check back with me in like a week or two. Well, I'll see if I'm actually using any of this stuff. You know, at this point, including the desk, which is another thing. The desk was supposed to come on the 26th. It's the 24th, but I had this stuff since like the end of last month or the very beginning of this month. So I've just been delaying putting it together because I've been too busy to do it. So anyway, moving on. So this was an interesting thing. But this is their, they call it their CPU holder. And I mean, I, I, I get it, like CPUs, your computer, but also your computer is more than a CPU. So maybe I'm being too nitpicky, but I'm not a big fan of that naming. Uh, but the idea with this is that it basically allows for you to... Uh, mount your 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 computer underneath the desk 
so that it just kind of freely hangs there. Now you can you can buy like every single one of these pieces separately. And if you do, they do cost a little bit more than what they cost if you do like a custom build. So if you're ever looking to put together an uplift desk and you don't you, you do want to get like you want to do your own top, you don't want to get one of theirs, which if you don't have a top already, I don't know why you wouldn't just get one of theirs. They have some really, really nice desktops. Like some that made me think, oh, maybe I'll just get a new desktop. But at the end of the day, I was happy with this one. And I mean, what else would I do with this? So I felt like I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. But you go to like the do-it-yourself section on there. Um, and you do like desk hardware only or legs only or something like that. And then through the build process, it lets you pick all of this stuff. And I did a couple of comparisons between like certain things bought with the legs or bought separately. And, and there were a handful of instances where you saved like 10 or $20 just buying it along with everything else, which makes sense. But it's also good to know that they do that kind of like built in on the website. So, oh, but yeah, the idea with the whole CPU mount is the way I have my, uh, my screens here in front of me, this screen over here is a little bit too angled. I really want that to be pushed back a little further, but she's already like pretty much against my computer. Um, and the computer is like pretty much on the edge of the desk. So I don't really have a lot of wiggle room to move it around. So one of those things where I really wasn't planning to get that, but it makes sense to pick it up since I'll then be able to recoup all of that desk space, which makes even more sense because I have my, uh, I have my ups, my, my, my backup power, uh, battery down below my setup here. And it, it's got to find another place to live because the shelf that it's currently on won't be there anymore. And having it just sitting on the ground seems kind of crappy to me. So the fact that the whole desktop is going to be, or the whole, the whole computer is going to be off of the desktop, I'll be able to have plenty of room to put my, my ups back behind this monitor in the back corner. So kind of excited about that just to kind of help clear it up a little bit uh yeah i think that's good on that um now this piece if there was a piece that i thought to myself this feels like a bit of a ripoff it would be this uh but this is their quick adjust mechanism. Um, basically, it is just the mechanism, just the gear build that mounts underneath the desk and onto your keyboard shelf. Just that. And this this was like one of the highest upgrade things because it's like, hey, yeah. You can get the included basic mechanism, which is basically just a 2x4 that you can nail to your desk and it holds your keyboard shelf. Or you can pay like $12,000 to have a mechanism that works. I don't know, it just it wasn't that dramatic and it wasn't that expensive, but it did feel like... Uh, You, 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 I'm sure everybody's seen sales or products that have a really weird like step pattern to the price increase, right? Like, hey, I'm going to give you this moldy grape for $10. And it's like, well, that's a pretty good deal for a moldy grape. And I'm like, well, listen, I'll give you the moldy grape and two good grapes for $20. And it's like, well, I was willing to spend the 10 
for a moldy grape. And now you're throwing in two good grapes for just another $10. It seems like a pretty good deal. And then I say, yeah, it is a good deal. You're, you're smart. You're going to definitely take that one. But here's the thing. For another $10, I give you five additional good grapes and a second moldy grape. Well, now I'm thinking, like, why well, I'd be an idiot to not get that top level. And you just, you could just keep going. Obviously, grapes is the best way to represent this pattern. But, you know, and you get to the point where it's just like, okay, I'm now paying $200 for something that was originally 50 but the upgrade path made sense to keep jumping. And it's like, you see it, you're like, well, 50 bucks, that ain't bad. But then you're like, you're like oh, yeah, that's a nice add-on. That's a nice add-on. That's a nice add-on. And suddenly it's it's a lot more money. That's kind of how the mechanisms were priced. Um, not really much of a complaint. I, I just don't think that the the less quality mechanisms should be on there maybe that's just for the benefit of me not feeling like i should probably have picked one of those to save some money but uh oh well i didn't so i think i'll be happy with this one though the biggest thing with this is that as it's called it's a, a quick adjust mechanism the idea with it is that there's no lever i don't have to like loosen any kind of arm to be able to move it around it has enough tension in the gear that you can just take a hold of the shelf and kind of move it however you want and as much as it's like i was really on the fence with it because i thought to myself well i'm gonna have this set up for standing 90 percent of the time if not more so why would i be moving it i, I probably don't need to move it so i'm gonna have it in one position why spend the money to get it so that I can move it around a bunch when I'm not going to really be moving it around? And I went back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. And the big selling point, what really made me realize, like, no, you know what, it is worth it, is that then you start looking at the way the desk will get put together and the way that the legs mount to it. There is an arm that goes the whole width of your desk, so the whole... From side to side, you've got this big metal bar under there. If I couldn't move the keyboard shelf out of the way, it wouldn't have been able to freely slide back underneath the desk. So that was what sold me on it. Um, I didn't want to have to keep the shelf out all the time because that would have gotten on my nerves. If I had to adjust it to be able to get it positioned correctly when I pulled the drawer out, I would probably never push that drawer back in because I wouldn't want to fiddle with that every single time I wanted to push it in. And I'm always pushing and pulling my, my current drawer in and out just to get it out of the way or because I'm going to type or something. So it definitely makes sense to me that I'll be using that mechanism to its fullest, uh, but it took me a while to get there. Honestly, I mean, it was a, uh, it was it was a hard sell and a little bit frustrating because I I don't like to spend a lot of money on metal and gears. I just like and doing it piecemeal like this is kind of nice because like you kind of get a feel for what the price of each piece is, but it's also kind of not nice because then you can start customizing that and being like. Yeah, I don't know if I really need a foot hammock, you know, which I think was like 20 bucks or something like that. I can definitely think of better things to spend $20 on, but in the scheme of things, it's not that bad. You know, 20 bucks isn't a whole lot. Anyway, moving on. This is actually a pretty interesting one. Um, so this is the actual keyboard tray. And it is the big ultra thin keyboard tray. There's literally no pictures of it on here. But 
why I say it's interesting is, well, one, it's sold separately from the mechanism. But they've got like six different options of it. And a lot of them are kind of determined, like which one you're going to pick is determined by this idea of a thin, an ultra thin keyboard tray. And, you know, without being able to feel them and, and see them in person, it's kind of hard to say what they all are like. But the original standard one reminded me of like old Formica coated, like, I don't know, like half inch thick, like plywood sheets, like the MDF boards or something like if you if you ever got like a just like a cheap shelf unit from like Walmart or something like that that kind of like thick compressed board with like just a coating on it that's the vibe that I got from the standard the standard keyboard shelf or tray um and supposedly this big ultra thin keyboard tray it was supposed to be like half the thickness or, or something like that and it was supposed to be super lightweight and i say it's interesting because this box is pretty big uh, and a lot of the boxes are pretty heavy but this is actually pretty light like lifting this whole thing it's 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 pretty light so i don't know if that's going to actually have much of an impact or not uh, it might feel better moving it around, a little bit less weight, I guess, to be pulling out. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, what, again, sold me on it was the idea of it being so much thinner. As it is right now when I'm sitting at my desk, my knees and were really like my like my upper like my thighs or my legs, whatever. Uh, they're, they're too close to the drawer as it is. And the drawer on there is probably like a half inch thick. So I figured the least amount of space that can be taken up underneath a desktop, the better. So that's where that, that's where that decision was made from. Uh, the last, well, one more item I can just grab here. So these are their track spacers, which is another thing that's like really convenient if you're already getting um, like the legs or something to pick up with it. Because like it, they, these will come with certain purchases given certain circumstances, like because I was getting the motorized legs and I got a CPU uh holder i got one of these along with it um, i'm sure it's built into the price somehow but uh basically what these are they're, they're just their offsets so that these will get mounted to the underside of the desk and then the the cpu holder mounts to the underside of that um, which gives you the ability to because that cpu holder slides like a drawer i can slide my computer out i can rotate it to be able to get into it a lot easier um but if i didn't have the spacers then the track that it's on hence a, a track spacer uh, wouldn't be able to actually go up against the desk because i have that rail going the whole width of the desk so that's the idea with these. And I got two of them. One for the uh, CPU holder and one for the keyboard uh, mechanism. So that it can mount and I can push the keyboard all the way in underneath the desk if I want to. Um, so it's a nice option. But but they're all just options. At the end of the day, it's like... The, the reason I ended up going with, with Uplift over like any other brand that was out there on Amazon because you could find some stuff on Amazon for a third of the price but if you do your research on the brands in general and the, the product it just didn't sound like there was another company out there that had quite the level of quality and options that Uplift had 
Um, there were a handful of contenders. There were a, a few bigger names. I was like, uh, was it the one was sort of the V like very, very desk. Um, they, they're good. Uh, there's like another one like Jarvis or something like that. I don't know. Uh, auto autonomous something. I forget. I forget what all of them are. It doesn't matter. But I mean, if you go with one of those like name brand ones, the bigger company ones, they probably are all pretty good. Um, but Uplift had some of the more impressive re responses, uh, reviews to them. Like the one thing that I really liked about these over other ones is that people were saying that it actually was able to lift the higher like weights and everything. Um, a lot of the desks that I saw kind of capped out at like 150 pounds, I believe it was, but this I think is rated for like 350 or 400 pounds. So, you know, when you've got a bunch of crap on your desk, a laptop, uh, a desktop, two monitors, heavy metal, like monitor arm, um, you know, your mouse, backup, power stuff, some hard drives. Um, you know, it, it adds up kind of quick. And the last thing I wanted was something to be too heavy that would burn up the motors that lift the desk. Uh, it's just not something I wanted to even have to worry about having. So... I thought the best route would be to go with Uplift because they seemed like they were able to lift much more than what I planned on putting on my desk. So, uh, the last two big boxes that are down here are actually just the legs and the feet. So, it's not really a whole lot to show and talk about uh, with those things. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to pop this box open and take a look at what's in there as far as like, is this something that I can build uh, here now, somehow put it on camera, or do I need to wrap up stream and just kind of go do what I can do with this thing? I don't, I don't know. So I'm going to, I'm going to check that now. Let me pull a sticker off here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and angle the camera down there. And again, just you have to forgive the mess a little bit. Uh, you know, we got a lot going on right now. And um, yeah, it's hope. Oh, my, my, my hope here is that once I get this desk built, I'll be able to kind of start coming up with a more structured plan for the layout in my office and get things sorted finally. But everything just takes time and, and, and it's just, I don't have the time to put to it. So anyway, let's pop this open and see what we have, see what we have. Yeah. Well, first of all, that is a crazy, crazy heavy duty box. That is like some of the thickest cardboard I have ever seen. Not sure if that really means anything, but it's 
really isn't supposed to be like an unboxing video or anything. It was mostly just trying to to do something a little bit different and put it out there as part of the community. But just in terms of unboxing, I'm I'm personally impressed with how well packed this is. Um, not sure how well it's translating entirely. I feel like probably pretty well, but each of these pieces are perfectly fit into a foam cutout so that they're not flying around in the box. They're not bashing into each other, not really worrying anymore at all that any of this stuff is going to be nicked up or dented or bent. Um, if everything's packed similar to this, I think I'm in a, a pretty good, pretty good chance of getting good quality, um, undamaged materials out of here. So let's go ahead and pull this stuff out and see what's under this first layer. Cause there's gotta be a lot more in this box. This box is pretty heavy. So let's see what else is in there. So maybe not, um, maybe, maybe there isn't a lot more in here because, uh, I said the box was pretty heavy. This right here, just this piece alone, that's got some serious weight to it. The ring is a little, eh, looks okay. Interesting that these two pieces were packed together. I, I'm happy that they kept the one wrapped separately, like has a plastic wrapping around it. Um, but just the fact that everything else was separated there, it's a little surprising that they trusted them packed together. Uh, but, I mean, they were right to, because not, nothing about them is, is damaged, so... Okay. So this is the So this is the these are the legs. These are the motorized legs here. And these are the hardware bags. Very nice. You know, in all honesty, pretty well uh pretty well labeled marked. I, I do I do appreciate that kind of uh, care when it comes to like packaging up a product. Just that that little extra mile that really makes a, a big difference. Some kind of a plug looks like for power or communication to the motor oh okay and it looks like this is the actual motor it, it's extremely lightweight i expected uh i expected this to be a lot heavier i guess this wouldn't be the motor this is okay this is this is just the power supply right Ooh, okay. Yeah, so this thing is heavy. Yeah, this is uh this is some heavy duty stuff right here.
So this should be the feet. Again, very thick, very thick cardboard. Nicely packed. Oh, and that's that's actually very nice light. I, I was worried that these would be like crazy heavy. They are not. Um, so this is the 24 inch uh, foot. They have, I think their normal one is 30 inch, but I uh, I did not want the 30 inch because the, the actual desktop itself is only 24 inch deep. So if I would have gotten a 30, then the, the leg, the foot would have been sticking out the back or the front of the actual desktop and I could just I knew I'd be bashing my toes off of it. I mean as it is there's a good chance I'll be doing that off of this thing anyway so I didn't want to increase the uh, the possibilities of that happening I do think it's fairly possible I think it's fairly possible to put these legs together on stream without a whole lot of uh, without a whole lot of issue. It does seem kind of crazily uh, complex for all that there seems like there should be to it, but uh, I think I'm probably just freaking myself out. Let me go grab my um my screwdriver. I think I have one up here right now. No. Did the only screwdriver set that I have up here though is not really for this kind of stuff. So I will be back. I'm gonna go get that, and then um, yeah, we'll put these. Uh, we'll put the we'll put the legs together. That way, at least we we we've done something. I can't really do much more beyond that because after that, I'm gonna have to be tearing my entire rig down, and I mean that's gonna involve shutting the computer off, shutting the stream down, so on and so forth. So. I can't, uh, I can't really go anywhere beyond just getting like, the legs and the frame itself together. So we will start there. Overheated. All right. I'll be right back.
Okay. I'm back with my screwdriver. <sighs> I was dreading this. Like I, I I bought this this desk like a week after I built my other desk. I'm the kind of person that like doesn't like to do that because I, I spent my time doing the first desk. So now I have to deal with it for like a good 12 years before I'm willing to, you know, get another one. <laughs> oh yeah, they've got me flipping everything upside down. Yeah, it looks like they don't even really want... What? I see. So they want you to count everything, which I know probably sounds stupid. But I think it's going to be important that we do. I do wish that I had a better rig for um, streaming like life stuff. Uh, you know, because... As much as like seeing my ear up close and personal is probably super interesting to everyone viewing. Uh, it would be nice to have like a, a setup that made sense for this kind of content. Um, like if this room weren't a disaster right now I and I had like a longer uh, cable for my camera, I'd be able to get a better angle and just like work in here. But then I don't have like a lavalier mic, which or lavalier mic which i'd like to invest in so i'm able to do things like um like vr and and other other content but until i have that uh it, it's difficult to talk whenever i'm not like right up at my mic so um these kind of videos become pretty tricky to to work through but i think i'm gonna have to cut this to a, to a close um building the legs just based on what i'm seeing in here like building the legs by themselves really isn't the objective it looks like i'm supposed to kind of have the desktop separate right now and kind of mount everything to the underside of that which is unfortunate because i was kind of hoping to be able to do this in two shorter evening sessions rather than, you know, <laughs> one long winded thing. So once I tear this desk down, like I'm out of commission. I can't work on my project. I can't work on my job. I'm not easily, I should say, but figure it out. Um, as far as this video goes, though, I mean, it, you know, the, the end of the day, I really just wanted to kind of showcase what Uplift has. And until I get this thing built and actually can test it out, I don't really know if I could technically recommend them. But based off of like accessories, quality of what I'm feeling, at least, uh, general appearance, delivery, um, packaging, all of that, everything so far is going really, really well. Very, very happy with what I'm seeing. Uh, so we're just kind of getting down to the question of how will it actually work? And that that's a, a whole other a whole other question because I've had things that impress me right up to the minute that they just don't work as well as they should. And that's when the whole opinion of it changes. But um, some of the other accessories, again, if you had like a, an office space, they actually do sell like... A, plexiglass or 
the weird foam fabric walls that you see in cubicles. Um, but you can get like basically like walls to actually enclose the entire top of your desk. They also have, um, they're like, I forget what they call them. They're basically like big curtains that kind of go down like rigid curtains. <laughs> it might even just be plastic. I don't know. They kind of cover the underside of the desk. So it like keeps your, well, your feet, your legs and everything covered as well as just like all of your cables and things like that. Cause like having all the cables kind of like just hanging off of your desk looks pretty crappy. Um, depending on your office layout like that, you, you might want to do that to hide it. My desk's against a wall with like stuff to the side. It's not like I'm sitting in the middle of an open room that people can just come in and be like, oh man, look at all those cables. What a slob. If you notice my cables before you notice the other slob elements in the room, you've got bigger problems. So I, uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here, I think. It's a shorter stream. It's kind of a stupid stream. I feel like all these uh, IRLs are, are pretty stupid, any of the ones that I do, like the computer build, but um, they're fun. They let me do something else to kind of progress different parts of my life and also sort of share something different than just uh, some game content. But aside from that, talking about game content, before I let this go... Uh, should be on Wednesday and should be playing more Dark Souls. Uh, I don't know how long that game is going to take me to get through. I'm certainly not like plowing through it. Maybe I need to start just like being more aggressive toward making progress in it. I don't really know. Um, but when I finish that game or stop streaming it, depending on... I mean, obviously, if I get to a point where I'm like spending stream after stream after stream trying to get through the same part i probably will not continually do do that on loop um because that's not just this is not good content at all not even for me uh but regardless when all that blows over i i think i'm gonna have to go back to uh subnautica but do the new game the below zero um i i've seen that uh, Jack, septic guy, is posting them, and I am a, I'm an avid consumer of his content. I really, uh, I find him to be an inspiration. I've talked about him before several times. I think he's a, a great dude, and his, his videos are, like, one of the ones that, like, I try really hard to keep up with. I just, like, watch almost anything that he puts out there, but when he does these series like this, I always have to avoid them because I don't want any of the spoilers. I don't want to, I don't want to see stuff that I could be surprised by in the game. So I'd like to go back, play through Below Zero, see what it is, see what it's all about, so that I can actually go and watch his videos again. But you know, until then, I'm I'm gonna just have to avoid his channel for a little while. Anyway, that is uh, it's gonna do it for me. So sorry for the uh, random stream, the the weird stream, strange format. But uh, appreciate anybody who stopped in. It's always always good having some people interested in what I'm doing. Um, and you know anybody watching this after the fact on YouTube, like via the vods or whatever. Um, I'm sorry. But also, thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. And uh, I hope to see you all in the next stream. See you.